you probably want to know two things. Did it work and do I recommend it? So you know what? I'm just going to spare you any of the suspense and just cut right to that to start. One. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it worked. I have some pretty compelling evidence, at least to me, that this actually did have a positive effect on my overall gains for the past month or so. Two, would I suggest this to other people in my similar stage of life, you know, with my age being where it is and with my circumstances being what they are? Yes, 100%, I would recommend it to people in this situation. If you can find your way to getting some sort of testosterone optimizer and estrogen management product like e-break and thrust, I highly recommend it. So now we can get to the other stuff, the details, and talk about the why of it all. So you know what? Let's roll the intro, and then we'll get to that stuff. Like I mentioned in the intro preamble there, yeah, I do think this actually had a positive effect on my gains. Now, you know, warning, I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet. Battery on the old uh, camera is looking a little low, so I'm kind of hoping we can make it through this without it burning out and me having to start this all over tomorrow, but you know, we'll see. Hopefully I can pull this off, fingers crossed. Anyway, so let's talk about some of the hard data here. Why would I feel like I actually had some sort of positive experience here that would be worth saying that it worked? Well, I have the numbers here. So if we look at some of the actual data here from what I tracked over the course of the past month or so. So I started the experiment on October 28th. The experiment ended as of um, the 25th of November. So approximately a month between the beginning and the end of it. Now my weight was up 0.3 pounds. My chest size was up 1.2 centimeters. My shoulders up by 2.4 centimeters. Waist down by a half centimeter. My quad up by a half centimeter. My bicep, no change. So unfortunately, the guns remain the same. But my calf measurement was up by 1.5 centimeters. So Overall, you can see a very interesting positive gain overall, except for the weights where there's actually a drop, which generally speaking is a positive movement for the vast majority of people out there. So I would say that's a really big win. Now, some of the other things that I experienced while I was using the product, one, I noticed an improved recovery time, two, I noticed that my strength was really holding true all the way through my mesocycle. So usually I feel a little bit more exhausted by the third week of the mesocycle and yeah, I feel kind of beaten up because it's a pretty aggressive program that I'm running, but I didn't feel that at all. I actually felt quite good, quite strong, and it held pretty much right till the end of the last week of my workout before my rest week. So that was great. Uh, and generally I felt like I was sleeping a lot better, especially the first and second week I was getting some really fantastic sleep. It was amazing. The last week due to some just life things, I wasn't sleeping quite as good, but that has less to do with the product and more to do with my lifestyle turning into an absolute cluster. F so we're going to skip over that and just kind of write that off to life being what it is sometimes a bit messy. So I got to say they promised improved sleep over seven days. I got it. That's pretty great. I, I, it's hard to argue with that one. So just looking at the raw data here, uh, it actually does look like it had a positive effect overall. I think the way that this actually did end up having a positive effect were some of the very easy things, of course, that I mentioned. Uh, ashwagandha being a great way to manage stress and stress being a major inhibitor for your ability to process ashwagandha. Did a whole video on that. Feel free to check it out. That'll be actually over there. Not over here, over there. Um, so ashwagandha, that's a big one. Um, making sure that you're covering your zinc and vitamin D needs for your diet, and that's gonna help significantly improve your body's ability to optimally produce testosterone. Uh, so that's super helpful. And finding, of course, when we're upregulating testosterone, finding a way to make sure that our body's not just gonna aromatize those testosterones into estrogen, or if it is kind of doing that, trying to keep it from doing it as much. Uh, so yeah, that I think it did a really good job all around of kind of mitigating those problems and helping to make sure that my body was at the best possible condition it could be. Here's hoping I don't end up crashing out over the next month or so as I cycle off of it, because you do have to suggest it that you come off of these products for about the length of time that you were on them. So now I got to spend some time 
in the non-optimal zone for most of these. Some of these things I can include in my, my diet and my supplementation protocol consistently, but other things I kind of have to rotate out. DIM being one of those things that helps with the regulation of hormones that I can't really just be taking perpetually. Uh, it has diminishing returns under those conditions. Uh, but generally speaking, some of the other ones I can actually take. Ashwagandha being a good one to rotate in consistently. Uh, and it was a reason why I thought that this wasn't going to be a big deal to me because I had already been taking it before this. But lo and behold, the pictures, the data from the actual measurements, uh, and how I felt during my workouts kind of spells the whole story out. This was a positive experience. Now, I also got to give a really big shout out to Magdalene themselves. Uh, part of this experience was also just me trying to see if they would hold true to the whole, we support you guys on social media. When you guys shout out us, when you guys support us, we support you. And I didn't know if they were really going to jive with this project, but they really did jive with it. They were super on board with it. They've been, you know, re posting stuff that I post up. They've been asking to share some of my content on their platforms to help inform people about what their product can do and, you know, the kinds of audiences that it could possibly serve. Generally speaking, they've just been really cool about making sure that the voice that I'm bringing to this whole conversation has been amplified as much as possible. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I'm approaching this in as objective as a way as I possibly can. I'm by no means a scientist with all sorts of resources at hand, but I'm doing my best to keep things objective and trying to be pretty measured about how I go about evaluating this. So the fact that they've been doing that, that's been really great. They even sent me a box with a re-up on e-brake and thrust so that when I'm ready to go back on again, I can, which would be great when I'm talking about prep for my, my national show. They sent me a really cool, really nice note with it, which I thought was really touching. Just the fact that they actually took the time to hand write a note. I mean, call it what you will, archaic, you know, old school, but it, that personal touch, it matters. This is customer service people at its finest. So big shout outs to Magnum for the cup, the shirt, the re-up on the thrust and the e-brake. And of course they gave me a free uh, bottle uh, or a free tub of Limitless. So I'll be looking forward to trying that. I already have a tub that I'm currently using, uh, but I will be going through that eventually. And once I do, I'll be trying the other flavor. So, you know, maybe a review on that coming. We'll see. If you guys are interested in that, then uh, hit the comments, let me know. Uh, I'll be happy to do that if there's enough interest in the idea of a whole video talking about Magnum Limitless, their pre-workout. So stay tuned if that's the case. Um, and yeah, it's short and sweet. It, I was surprised. I did not think that this was going to have as positive effect it did, but it really did. What else to say? If you're 35 or older, if you have kids, if you're living a life where you're busy, where you're constantly on the go, where you got a lot on your mind, where you got a lot on your plate, where you're trying to make a lot of moves happen so you can get a little bit stressed, a little bit on edge maybe sometimes, I, I can't possibly recommend this enough as a possible inclusion, regular inclusion into your supplementation protocol so that you can see the best results out of you and your program. So um, what did you guys think about that? Uh, did you enjoy that? Was that informative? Was that shocking? Comment below. Let me know what you thought about it. Let me know if you've taken any sort of testosterone optimizing product and you want to see me review it. Uh, there's a couple others that I have on the list. I just kind of have to figure out when I'm going to do them and how to include them. But nonetheless, I'd love to hear from you guys about what you thought about this video and of course other test boosting products on the market. Comment below. Let me know. I want to hear from you guys. And of course, as always, stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place. We all shine together. Peace.